Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rasta Kitten and today I will be teaching you how to install car mods in Need for Speed Carbon. There are two ways of installing mods into this game and I will explain both methods in a moment. But first I would like you to ask to like and share this video, it will help me out a lot and also while you are at it subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my other videos, I have a lot of random stuff, who knows, maybe you will find something you like. As always, links are provided in the description down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any questions, comment down below. Speaking of comments, I will add timestamps in the comments so you can easily navigate through some of the parts of this tutorial. However, I suggest you do not do that and watch the whole video from start to finish and pay attention if you want to succeed in installing mods to this game. Okay, so first of all we need to download some programs. The first thing you need is something you can extract archives with. You can choose either 7-zip or WinRAR. Doesn't matter which one you pick, they do the same thing. The second program you need is VLT Ed. Go ahead, download this somewhere where you can find it easily. Like I said before, links are in the description. The third thing you need is NFS TechZ. With this you can install the custom manufacturer logos. Don't forget to save all these somewhere where you can easily find them. Next thing you need to download is the mod that you want to install. I will be using two different mods for this tutorial so I can show you both mod installation methods. Next thing you need to do is back up your game. This step is optional but I highly recommend you doing it. This way if something goes wrong and your game breaks you don't have to reinstall it all over again. So find your game installation, easiest way to do it is to right click on the shortcut, click properties and open file location. Now right click and copy the game folder and make a folder somewhere you have free space and name it uh, Need for Speed Carbon Backup and paste it there. This will take some time but it will be worth it if something goes wrong. Now let's start with the easiest way of installing mods. Some of these mods come with mod installers but you have to be very careful with these as some mod installers can contain viruses. That's why I recommend manually installing mods. Okay, so this method is very easy. All you have to do is extract the downloaded mod with WinRAR or 7-zip. Open the folder and open this install file. A window will open and the next thing you need to do is press the install button. Find your Need for Speed Carbon installation folder and press OK. If the mod is installed successfully, it will give you this message. Next thing you need to install are the manufacturer logos. Open the readme file that comes with the mod and look for something like this. Ok, so it says to open frontend front B1IZC and find texture with ID 209 and 231. This we will do with NFS text add. So go ahead, open text add and do the things the readme file tells you to do. Ok, so now the mod is fully installed. Ok, so now I'm gonna show you how to install the mod if it doesn't have an installer or if you simply don't want to use the installer. So go ahead and extract the mod you want to install. I will be installing Bryant Skyline from the Too Fast to Furious car pack from Anspeak. 
So open the folder and as you can see there is a skyline folder in this. Copy it and paste it to your Need for Speed Carbon Cars folder. Now open VLT Add, hit File, Open and select your NFS Carbon installation. Now press File again, this time click on Import. Find where you put the mod you downloaded and find the file that has .carbon extension. Open it and press file again and hit save. Now you have installed the mod and you can close this application. To install the custom manufacturer logos there is a timestamp in the comments where I have already explained how to do this in the other installation method. So press it and follow my instructions. To uninstall everything simply just copy the whole backed up NFS Carbon installation you made before and go to your installation folder where your game is installed, delete it and paste the backup in its place. That is the cleanest and fastest way to get rid of installed mods or fix the game if you broke it due to not paying attention to what I said in this tutorial. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any further questions, comment down below. And while you are still here, press the like button and check out my channel for other videos. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye bye.